Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about installing Laravel Homestead on our Windows machine. So I'm running Windows 10, and it's rather simple to get it set up and being able to develop with Laravel. I have another video out that was for Valet, and it was a Valet port to Windows. Um, that one, I haven't used Valet in a while. It is easy, it is simple, but I think with the Windows side of things, Homestead's the way to go. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to get this done, how to get it working, and we'll go from there. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, um, we're going to go over here to the Laravel.com for the 5.8 and look at the Homestead documentation. And you need to install the Vagrant box along with your uh, virtual box or VMware, whatever you decide to use. Word of caution, if you're going to use VMware, you do have to buy a VMware Vagrant plugin. Um, so it's not free, but it does provide faster shared folder performance out of the box. VirtualBox is free though, so all you have to do is navigate over here, go to your Windows hosts, and then install your VirtualBox. Um, I already have VirtualBox installed, so I'm not going to do that because I have other VMs running, but we are going to go and grab Vagrant. So as you can see here on Vagrant, we're going to go to the Windows 64-bit, do 32-bit if you don't have uh, a 64-bit system, obviously. So we will save that. And we're just going to save it right to the desktop, make it easy to find, easy to, to navigate to. It is 229 megabytes, so it will take a little bit of time to download. If you have a slow internet connection, um, or if you're on a metered connection, you may not want to, to spend all that data, but that's completely up to you. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually install Vagrant once it's done and then get that up and running. So it's very simple, very easy. It's just an MSI installer. So all we have to do is click on it. It'll open up in just a minute here. Um, or you can just navigate over to your desktop here and install it that way. For some reason, Chrome likes to sit and take its sweet time with that to clear it. Um, so we're just going to click Next, accept the license agreement, click Next. Um, it's going to install the into the folder HashiCorp slash Vagrant. Click Next, click Install, and now we wait for it to pop up with its little user account control thing to allow us to verify, and then once that's um, up and running, then we can actually get Vagrant installed. So it's pretty simple. It's a pretty easy installer. It's nothing special that you have to do. Um, it does take a little bit of time, and it does require a restart on the system in order to work. So we will have to stop the video and restart the system once it is actually installed and ready to go. With that said, we can look at a couple other things here. So we're going to have to actually do the um, Vagrant box once it's installed and we restart the system to add the Laravel slash Homestead box to our system. But in the meantime, while we wait for that, we are going to navigate over to GitHub and we are going to grab our Homestead information. So all we have to do is copy that link, paste it in. And of course, you can use keyboard shortcuts if you want. I prefer that, but for videos, it's much easier for people to see what I'm doing with the mouse. Now, if you want to be able to follow along with these instructions as they are written, if you notice, they are written for a Linux or Unix-based system, you can download something called GitBash. Now, I have Git Bash installed on my system already. So, Git Bash allows you to basically use what um, commands are listed here, kind of a Unix style command line, in order to navigate and operate on your Windows system. I'm not going to use Git Bash for this example because it's just another thing you have to download. Um, but if you prefer to do it that way, you can do things like ls versus having to actually type in uh, dir for directory, you can do cds, uh, you can do the git clones, all that stuff. So that's completely up to you. If you want to use git bash, you can just copy and paste these commands into the git bash and be able to run them. But for our instance here, we're going to do it the good old fashioned way here. We're just going to download the zip file. So we'll download zip. There we go. And we're just going to save that right to our desktop as well. So we'll go back to the Laravel Homestead documentation here. Get back to kind of where we were. 
All right, so while we're still waiting for Vagrant to actually install, we're going to right click and we'll minimize that. Right click and then we want to extract the files. And we're going to copy these files over, so we're just going to leave it right on the desktop here, make it simple to get to. So go inside of your Homestead Master folder, go inside, and then we want to copy all of this. So just right click and copy. <clears throat> Any day now. There we go. And then we're going to go over into our local machines C drive. We're going to go under users. And then we're going to create a new folder. And you just click this little button up here. And we're going to name this Homestead. So go inside your Homestead folder that you just created. Right click and paste. Again, you can use keyboard shortcuts as needed. Um, so I won't reiterate that. So now we got to wait for Vagrant to install. Um, once Vagrant's installed, we'll have to restart the system. Um, so I'll pause the video, we'll come back, and then I'll show you how to get the Vagrant box added for Laravel. And then we'll actually set up Homestead in our YAML file that we have. And then we can get that going and get Laravel installed and get everything up and running. So as you can see here, Vagrant is finished, so it's going to ask us to restart. I'm going to do that now, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we've restarted the system. Now we can get Vagrant set up. So what we want to do is we want to copy this command here. We want to go into our command prompt. <clears throat> Excuse me, hit puberty there, apparently. And um, we're just going to test this out real quick. We're just going to make sure that this works. So just type in Vagrant and hit Enter. And as you can see, it doesn't do anything, so that's a good thing. It's not throwing errors, so we'll Control-C to uh, exit out of that. Right-click and do that again. We're going to do three. All right, so it should be finishing up here in just a second. All right, the next thing that we need to do now is actually get our Homestead YAML file set up properly. So we're going to go over here, and then we're going to go into our... Um, uh, this PC, local disk, we're going to go into the users, and then we're going to go into that Homestead folder that we created earlier, and you can see here that we have um, all of our files. Now we need to actually get the Homestead YAML file in there. To do that, we've got two init files here. We've got the Windows batch file, and then we have a, a .sh uh, shell script. So we can go actually back into our command prompt here. We can cd into Homestead, and then we can just run the init dot bat hit enter and it's going to say homesteads initialized so we can close that we can see now that we have a couple different files this is the one that we care about our homestead.yaml file so we'll double click that and open it up now i have it set to open up in php storm if you don't have that you can open up in sublime notepad it doesn't matter any text editor will work just open this up so that you can actually edit the file so we'll wait for that to come up here Fun fact, if you've got a .edu email, if you're in school or anything like that, these guys will give you access to um, pretty much all of the programs that they have completely free um, every year. So that's a lot of fun if you don't, uh, don't have that already. Just giving you a heads up there while we wait for this to open. And I am in school right now, too, for my bachelor's in computer information systems as a developer. So... I don't use PHP Storm a lot. Um, they work more with the uh, like uh, the uh, Visual Studio, like 2017. So my school gives us Visual Studio Enterprise 2017 for free, um, and they use that a lot. But you can also use um, the writer system that JetBrains has. Okay, so now that we have our Homestead YAML file open, there's a couple things that we need to note. Um, so this IP address is going to be the IP address that we use to actually map your sites, your, your development sites, in your host file. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, you've got a couple keys here that you can put in. I'm just going to delete these for now for the purpose of this tutorial because, quite honestly, going through that is just going to add more time to this and I don't want to deal with it. Um, but you can create keys with like something like Putty Key Gen and create the keys needed and then just link those in there as, as you want. Um, for this though, I'm just not even going to worry about it. So the two most important things that we need to focus on are folders and sites. 
So the folders, you're going to map a folder on your local machine to your VM machine. So in this instance here, we have um, home slash code is being mapped into the VM box um, home vagrant code. So obviously we are on a Windows system, so this isn't going to work. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to go into our documents, come up here, create a new folder. We'll just call this websites, and then we'll, we'll uh, leave it at that. So we can go inside and grab this uh, link real quick and just hit copy. So this is going to be the host folder on our local system that holds all of our different projects inside of it. And we'll come back over here to PHP Storm. We're going to delete this, and then we're going to paste this in. Now, it's very important that we use single quotes around this because I am using a space inside of my username. So if you have a space like mine in the username, you must escape that space by using single quotes. If you don't have any spaces inside of your path, you can just put it in there. You don't have to worry about the single quotes at all. So this is basically telling us that we're going to map this websites folder to this code folder inside of the VM. Now our site, we can just leave it as it is, but you can name it whatever you want. Um, just make sure you use the dot test. Dot dev doesn't work anymore. Thanks Google. Um, so we'll just leave it at homestead dot test, and then we're going to map this to home vagrant code public. Now that's fine for one application. But if you want to do multiple applications, you need to come in here and you need to specify the name of your application before the public. So in this instance for the video, we're just going to do test. Um, so once we actually create the Laravel project, the project itself will just be called test. And then that way this maps properly when we try to access the website and see the, the interface page that comes up. So the next step that we need to do is that we need to actually grab this IP address here. So we'll just copy that. So just right click and copy, and then we're going to open up Notepad. So just type in Notepad, but before you hit enter, you want to make sure you right click and run as administrator. This is very important. If you do not run it as administrator, go away Adobe, um, you will not be able to save the host file, so we want to make sure that we have that permission. So we're going to click open. Now I'm already in there, but we'll go back to the local disk so I can show you where to find it. So you're going to want to go to Windows. You're going to want to scroll down until you hit System32. And then you're going to scroll down until you hit driver, drivers, and then etc. And then you want to make sure you come down here where it says text documents and click all files. And then we can open up our host folder. Now, if you've never modified a host to file before, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is type in the IP address and then the name of the site that we want it to link to. So in this instance here, we're just going to do the IP address to homestead.test. And as you can see here, that's exactly what we have. So we want to make sure that we save this file. So file save. And then we can just close this out. We're good to go. So that's pretty much it for setting up the YAML file right now. Again, you can get into the keys and getting all those set up. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we will type Vagrant up now. OK, so we have successfully installed Vagrant. We have installed Homestead. And we now have our VM up and running. So at this point, we can type in Vagrant SSH. And it will SSH into the Vagrant box for us. Or the Homestead box, I should say. OK. So at this point, if we type LS, you can see that we're inside the code. Now we need to actually install Laravel. So all we have to do is come down here to install Laravel. Go to their documentation now. There's just one code uh, command that you really need to run, which is this one right here. So we'll copy that. We'll come back over here, and we will right-click. So what it's going to do is install the Laravel installer onto our VM machine, not our local machine, but the VM machine, and allow us to create Laravel applications that will then sync over to our um, local machine. All right, so that has been done. So we will see the end of the code folder there. You can see there's nothing inside. So all we have to do is type in Laravel new, and then we're just naming this application test. And the reason why, really quick, was because we set this up right here to be under the test slash public. So all we have to do is hit enter. Now this is going to craft the application. It's going to download any dependencies that need to be uh, picked up. If you already have them on your system um, from running this before, 
It'll pull a lot of them from cache if this is the first time you're running it. It will have to download a lot of them. So once you go through that first initial process, it will load from cache in the future. So as long as you haven't deleted anything out. And that will allow it to craft the Laravel applications much faster for you so you're not waiting. And then you can get right down to coding and all that fun stuff. So, <coughs> All right. So we now have this set up properly. If we ls again, we can see that we have this test code. So we can see the, or this directory, I should say, ls one more time. And you can see all the different uh, files that it created. So we can uh, just minimize this for now. And if we go over to our file explorer, go into documents, go inside of websites. There we go. Go inside. You can see now that we have a folder called test. Um, and inside this, we have all of our files for our Laravel application. So it automatically syncs from the uh, VM to the local machine, and it will also automatically sync from the local machine to the VM, which is really nice. So all we have to do now is go back to our web browser, type in homestead.test, and hopefully it'll pull up the Laravel splash page, and we should be good to go. Um, this is your Laravel splash page, so now you guys can start doing whatever it is you want to do. So you could come in here and do like, you know, file open directory. Then we go into our documents here. Documents. Websites. Test. So we want to open up that whole folder there. So we'll open that up. And then you can see here we have all of our um, stuff. So we can go to like resources, views. We can go to the welcome blade. And then we can change some things around if we wanted to just to show that it's working. So, for instance, here, um, let's see. So, we've just got some uh, links here. Content, title, Laravel. Yay, I work now. Save that. Um, and then... Get that saved. We'll come back over here, hit refresh. And yay, I work now. So as you can see, it will sync. Um, once we go back into here, we could actually view. If we go into the CD, into the resources, and then LS, and then CD into views. And then you can cat out the welcome.blade. And as you can see here, it says, yay, I work now. So. Uh, they will sync back and forth, which is really nice. But that is setting up Homestead with Laravel um, and Vagrant Boxes. It is much easier to do inside of Windows versus the Valet port to Windows that I have a video on before. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.